let's do a tier list for UK streetwear brands. Let's start off with Cortez. They are the most hyped at the moment and they have collaborated with Nike most recently, which is pretty substantial for a UK streetwear brand. I'm gonna put them at number two for now. Okay, Broken Planet, they are relatively new on the scene. They've only been around for about three years, I believe, but the quality of their clothing is very good and I'll have to rank them highly for that. At the moment, they've got a lot of hype, so I'm gonna go for number two. Okay, next on the list, we have Hoodrich. Now, we all know they've copied Trap Star designs and I think the lack of creativity doesn't really help them in this kind of list. So I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna hate on them as well. I understand why the owner is doing it. He's making his bread, fair enough, but they're pretty much just a budget version of Trap Star, for honest. So due to that, I'm gonna have to rate them quite low. I'd say number four. Okay, next we have Mercia. Now Mercia at one point were quite hyped. They're inspired by a Paris slash PSG sort of design. And at one point they were doing very well. However, now that they're in JD, I think the hype for them has dropped off quite a bit. So I'm going to have to put them around the hood rich level. I'm going to say number four for Mercia. Okay, now it's time for Trapstar. You guys knew this was coming. They are the biggest on the scene. They've got the best tracksuits, the best jackets. And yeah, they sell out every single time. So it's hard to really rank them less than a one. I'll be honest. They are the biggest UK streetwear brand at the moment. So I'd have to say one. However, they could improve by doing a good collaboration. Cortez got Nike. Can Trapstar get Adidas? That would be... On par with that? I don't know. Let's see. Next, we have Tax Free. Now, they're not as hyped as uh, Cortez, Trapstar, Carsico, but they've been around for a while. I like their designs. Uh, I'd say they're out mid table, a bit like Chelsea, so I'm going to put them at number three. Next, we have Carsico, and these guys are also relatively new, but I see them doing their thing. I like the way they do their advertising. It's similar to Cortez. And yeah, they are selling out. They're pretty unpredictable with their advertising as well. But I'd say they're not as hyped as the other brands in bracket, too. So. I'm gonna give them a three for that. And I'll be honest, if I'm giving Carsico three, I can't give Hoodrich four. So I'm gonna to have to say Hoodrich five. No disrespect, but it's, it's, it's worth. Okay, next we have Represent. Now, what is everyone's opinion on this? I do like them personally, but you could say they're a ripoff of Essentials Fear of God. Uh, so I'll let you guys decide that one. Put which number you think Represent should be down in the comments.